Red Mercury, no, this is something to talk about. It is as fascinating as dazzling anything and everything related to Red Mercury, ancient mythology tales and legends, to the latest in scientific research, traditional use and modern employment of this mystical and alchemical substance. The elixir of life, philosopher's stone, the manual for every alchemist, a must-have even if one wants to explore the mystics of alchemy. Hundreds of thousands of cheap labor were forced to mine the cinnabar which is the source of mercury and red mercury. Hundreds of thousands died while mining it, very poisonous substance if inhaled or mishandled. It was used by the ancient Egyptians in the mummifying process and burial ceremonies, by ancient Chinese in healing and in alchemy, by the Arabs for the same purposes, by Europeans for this and later on for much more industrial purposes. However, present-day myth surrounding red mercury is even more eluding and mind-buzzing. For, if one reads what is written on the web related to red mercury, all one finds is dirty bomb, or terrorism. Paradetect.com research department set up a team to investigate this myth once and for all. We started our research several years ago, in quest of red mercury. Here are our findings. At first we sought historical and modern references such as a 320 BC Greek philosopher Theprastus, who mentioned in his book on stones the process of extracting mercury from cinnabar, and whose book is regarded as one of the earlier if not the first book that observes this process. We contacted several expert scientists and modern chemists and asked about red mercury, we came back with an answer related to normal silver mercury. Then we contacted several of the largest chemical supplies companies around the world, we came up with nothing more than skepticism, ignorance and doubtful responses as if we were asking for the forbidden. We failed to verify the authenticity of the presence or availability of red mercury in cold process and in semi-liquid form. Yet, ancient mythology describes its common usage and it still exists in many traditionally driven cultures. In the process of searching for the truth, we stumbled upon one source who explained to us that the rarity of red mercury is due to the fact that it is widely sought and feverishly demanded in specifically the Mideast, because of a legend that says that red mercury if in semi-liquid form is actually offered as food for the jinn. According to myth in that region, if one can acquire such substance and manages to summon up jinn, one can demand anything he wants from the jinn because the jinn are absolutely crazy about it, it is like jinn saying to them. And they, the jinn are willing to answer any request demanded by the supplier of this rare substance. So, we are getting somewhere. Maybe the western suppliers related it to terrorism because of Arab market high demand for it. It is rather ironic to consider it is danger to world stability though. And more ironic to find out a bigger modern myth than the ancient one to surround it, for all of what the poor Arab wanted was to fulfill his dream the easy way, and get to Alibaba cave with an offer of red mercury to trade in return of fast wealth. We found out that the Arabs are after cold processed red mercury prepared in the old ways. And they have no business whatsoever with the modern high-tech method of the red substance. Paratitech team is still researching this topic and will keep our readers informed of whatever outcome we reach to. We are still seeking a small sample of red mercury to experiment on, and will let you know how things turn out. Who knows we might hit the jackpot ourselves and open the gate to a new Alibaba cave. Mythology is a fascinating subject, it tells so much about culture and traditions that they are derived from mythology.